save our planet. Antarctic melting due to rising heat from deep oceans. In an analysis ocean temperature data spanning several decades, oceanographer Dr. Doug Martinson of Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory in New York, USA, discovered that the vast ice cap of Antarctica is actually melting from below due to heat that is now rising from deep ocean waters. According to Dr. Martinson, these water temperatures have risen most steeply since 1960, with corresponding increases in the undermining of sea ice along with warmer air temperatures, retreat of 87% of alpine glaciers, and extinction of entire daily penguin colonies. To Dr. Martinson's surprise, however, further analysis revealed that this temperature rise is occurring not just in Antarctica, but in ocean waters worldwide. Dr. Martinson stated, When I saw that, my jaw just dropped. The other implication of this data is that even if emissions are reduced, the waters will continue releasing heat for some years to come. As Dr. Martinson observed, there's the potential that we're locked into long-term sea level rise for a long time. The information also sheds new light on other regions such as Antarctica's Pine Island ice shelf which previously was thought to be disintegrating due to summer meltwater. Now that the cause is known to be the upwelling of deep seawater, factors such as wind could influence how quickly this and other ice shelves may disappear. We appreciate your research, Dr. Martinson and colleagues at the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, showing how human-caused global warming is disturbing the fragile balance of the Antarctic and other sea locations worldwide. May our prompt actions and effective solutions help restore the balance to protect all life on Earth. During a November 2009 video conference in Washington, D.C., USA, Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke of the possible larger-than-expected ice melts in Antarctica and elsewhere, while highlighting the need for action at the root level. The West Antarctic ice shelf is also melting, with 3.3 meter sea level rises forecast that would threaten cities like your country, New York, Washington, D.C., and San Francisco. And if all of Antarctica and Greenland were to melt, I mean the ice, then the sea levels could rise to as much as 70 meters, which would be deadly or disastrous to most lives on Earth. I pray day and night that the divine manifest in the physical realm and wake up the leaders of our nations, wake up the religious head, wake up everybody in time so that they understand the urgency of our situation and that they understand the solution of solving this dangerous crisis they're facing us. That is, we have to turn back to our caring and compassionate nature inside our heart. Being vegan worldwide is the advancement of compassion that will uplift and unify all cultures and create a harmonious Eden on Earth.